Check this out. So a couple days ago was uh, Ham Nation. I forgot which episode number, but it was the 21st of February, Tuesday. And I caught it uh, a little late, right when uh, uh, George was uh, talking about the uh, putting a microphone uh, into a mixer here. So here at W0EEE, we've got ourselves a UV802 mixer that I got for 40 bucks, or maybe even less than that on eBay. This is an MXL990 uh, conden uh, yeah, condenser microphone. $40 on eBay. Once again, the name of the game is cheap. So it works pretty good in the microphone. Uh, uh, we worked Skullcold Roundup all last week and we got three QSL cards so far. All of them say we have great audio. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few things. And I'm going to show you one more thing at the very end that is absolutely awesome. So stay tuned. Okay, so thing number one. You don't need great equipment to have great sound. The only thing you have to do to achieve good sound is one thing. Most of your HF uh, radios have uh, several different meters, and you'll see an SWR meter, a power meter, and uh, other meters. There's one meter that you really need to focus on, after you've tuned your radio, of course, is the ALC. This is the Automatic Limiting Control. And what this does, it shows you how much your transmitter is pulling back the power so that it doesn't the audio that goes through isn't overdriven. You'll see that there's a little line here. This line is basically a pig pen. <laughs> and when you talk through the microphone, you'll see that this, this bar under it will uh, fill up with light. And what you want to do is, is change this microphone gain input or microphone gain uh, knob so that the highest that this meter reads is nowhere out of that uh, pig pen there. So keep your audio within this line and you will have good sound regardless, almost regardless of what your mic is. If it's a stock handheld mic such as one of these uh, or one of these or any of, any of these like handheld mics, it'll work just fine. You'll have good sound, you'll get good reports and, and most importantly your audio will not be overdriven. And one thing a lot of hams do is they crank this, they turn a processor on, they crank the processor on, and they don't look at the ALC. They just make sure that they're compressing completely full, their compressor is totally open, and their SWR is zero, and their power is as high as possible. That is bad. To have good audio, you must not overdrive your transmitter, or else it will sound horrendous. For the most part, that ALC is very important. You don't want to hear overdriven audio and everybody every ham has heard someone who cranks their volumes and cranks every knob to 11 and uh, believes that it's going to um, get out more it doesn't trust me thing number two microphone etiquette some things to not do if you have a handheld mic don't talk into the microphone like this you're way too far away from it and you're not going to get good audio another thing to not do is to over overshoot it just talk by sight it it sounds better than way over here, but still you're not giving the uh, element enough pressure, enough sound pressure. So the best way to talk to a microphone is to talk into the microphone, like so. Put your lips at least one inch away from the microphone and talk in a clear, articulate, and uh, not loud, but appropriate volume voice. This would be a good voice to talk in. If you have a uh, microphone like this, you can back off a little bit. Some people put pop filters in the front here, so you'll see some, some people talk out here like this. Other people will talk up here like this. And it depends on the microphone, really. <laughs> uh, sometimes you, you don't want to talk up on it because you'll sputter the, the diaphragm. Like in this case, it's a condenser element, so you don't want to be too close. It's going to pick you up just fine from about five inches or better. And the closer, you, the farther back you are, at least, you know, use your hand as a, as a guide. The closer you are, the more likely you are to get spit on the, the condenser or uh, make P, P sounds, uh, what are they called? <laughs> In Ham Nation uh, last Tuesday, uh, you probably saw George W5JDX, I think, connect a microphone such as his uh, uh, Heil microphone through a mixer and through some kind of capacitor, especially for ICOM since they have a output voltage on the microphone line. Through, through the mixer and then to your radio. This is a Kenwood, so it doesn't have the output voltage. 
um, but you still do need a mixer. Some radios have, like the ICOM 7000, have a pinout on the back, so you'll need a, a certain adapter, like this is a seven pin, some of them you'll need 13 pin adapters, and pull out a certain pin, connect it to the, uh, um, one of these, probably the tip of the uh, audio jack uh, that comes out of the mixer, and plug that into the back of your radio. And so then you don't have to fudge around with the microphone gain or the preamp that sits right behind this uh, microphone input. Um, and another cool thing you can, you can do with a mixer, if you want to start sounding like a DXer or a broadcaster, um, a lot of mixers have equalization. Uh, this one in particular has equalization at 80, 2.5 kilohertz, and 12 kilohertz. If your mixer can hit 2.5 or 2 kilohertz or so, use that, use that well, because at 2.5 kilohertz is where your voice has most of its information. And so if you crank up that, you can and you make sure to articulate and not talk crazy loud or crazy, crazy quiet, you will bust over the pileups and uh, have a, a brilliant and clear audio uh, without an amplifier or processing. If you want to sound more like a rag chewer, turn up the lows a little bit higher, turn down the mids a little bit, and uh, keep the, usually the highs are too high, like this one is 12 kilohertz, and, and most uh, single sideband rigs only go up to about 3.8 kilohertz uh, at best. Unless you're doing AM, then uh, that's where you add a little bit, you can uh, fiddle with the highs a little bit more. But don't, don't uh, be one of the guys who uh, want to sound like the big beefy broadcasters and have a super low voice and turn up that uh, low, that 80 hertz low all the way up because you're going to start to sound like a pillow. You won't have any of that high, uh, high frequency information that comes out of your voice. You'll just have bellowing lows and nobody likes, everybody likes bellowing lows. When you're talking to somebody, you want to be able to hear their voice, not to hate their voice. So that's that. That's with a microphone. I need to get a pop filter, or do I? Because I watched Ham Nation last Tuesday night and uh, sent Bob Hyde a little message about W Zero Triple E. We were featured on uh, Ham Nation uh, a couple months ago, uh, and we were just going about how uh, we're doing. We're a great school club here. We got a lot of equipment, and we're doing a lot of great stuff. I sent him an email just saying how we're doing, how this thing got us some extremely good uh, signal reports during school club roundup. Uh, out of almost all the QSL cards, this microphone, this mixer, and this radio, on uh, I think we got three of them, and on all three of them it says good or great audio. And I'm like, that's pretty cool. And when I was on the actual radio, people heard me and they were saying great audio. And a lot of people were asking, how'd you get such good audio? And I say the same thing I told you, keep your ALC in the, in the, in the pen, don't yell at the mic, don't talk a million miles away from the mic, and, uh, and, and use good etiquette on the microphone and, and make sure your ALC is within its meter um, and you'll have good audio, just like that. And take a listen to some of the AM guys on 3880, 3885, or down in the 160 meter band and ask them, if you can, ask them how they get such good audio. And they'll talk about how they have these huge continental uh, broadcasting things and RE20s and ex really expensive microphones and really big mixers and EQ stacks and all that stuff. But you don't need all that. You don't need professional equipment to have professional sound. All you need to do is have a little bit of common sense and uh, a little bit of proper etiquette, and then you're just going to be floating on the airwaves. So anyway, without further ado, this. After sending Bob Howell that email, he sent me back something that said, uh, give us your address, and we're going to send you a PR40. Little did I know that I would receive, I would receive it the next day. <laughs> It's pretty awesome. So, this is unboxing the uh, microphone here. I'm gonna take it. Right? Right? There it is, suspended in there. It's even got the stick. That's beautiful. And then it came with the mount. Very nice. So, by the way of movie magic, it's out with the old and in with the new. Doesn't it just look pretty? I just, I just like how they look. Yeah, they're so shiny. This thing isn't even shiny. You can see straight through it. It's shiny. It's just trash. So let's get this hooked up to our radio and see if we can make some beautiful sounds. So, I have the microphone running through the computer right now, coming out of the mixer. Uh, a couple of cool things about this microphone. Uh, it's a dynamic microphone. You don't need phantom power for these things. And one thing that happens when you talk far away from a dynamic microphone is that you can't hear anything. Another cool thing about this particular microphone is if you talk to the side of it, you can't hear anything. 
if you talk to this side, you can't hear anything. You have to talk into the end of the microphone. So, with that said, let's play with the EQ a little bit. This is flat EQ. This is with no uh, no boost or nothing. This is flat. Okay, so we're going to not make it flat. We're going to turn out the highs all the way up. This is with the highs all the way up. This is what a lot of people do. They'll turn all the other ones way down and turn this way high, and now you have something that sounds like this. Uh, this is not a broadcaster's sound. Broadcasters don't turn their bass all the way up to the maximum. What they do is they turn their bass up, turn this up a little, turn this up a little, and then you have broadcaster sound. And that's about it. So uh, that's what... Uh, this is with... Uh, 80 hertz all the way high. We'll put that back in the middle there. Now we're going to play with 2.5 kilohertz. This is where the DXing comes in to play. I'm going to crank it. This is 2.5 kilohertz cranked. Imagine me on an island calling CQ, CQ. This is the sound I would want my microphone to make into the radio. Along with a couple like a processor or a high boost like this thing has. I just cracked my voice. Um, you would play with the, uh, the middle here. You crank it up to where uh, you can get the articulation sound of the voice there. Now I'm going to crank up the highs. Uh, on most transceivers, uh, you can't really hear this. On, on single sideband, you can't hear 12 kilohertz so well. Um, but what you can do is you still can bring it up a little bit, bring up the mids, and bring up the highs, or put down the highs. It depends on uh, your personal preference and what you're uh, wanting to get out of the radio and all that. So we're going to put it back uh, to the middle here. We're going to... I, I sound so flat, so I'm going to turn up a little bit of uh, high and a little bit of low. And we're sounding good. So we're plugged right into the back of the computer. Now I'm going to plug it right into the front of the radio and uh, see if I can get uh, audio coming out of another radio through the computer or just through the microphone, m microphone on the camera. All right, now I have the uh, microphone hooked up to the radio. It was nothing more simpler than plugging it into the... Uh, mic input here. Um, make sure you have phantom power off, of course. You don't want to fry the, the pretty microphone. Now, what do we do? I have uh, the uh, frequency set to 3.9 megahertz, and since it's daytime, uh, it won't go out very far. I have it running into a dummy load, uh, just to make sure. I also have a few other things here. Here you can see our uh, oscilloscopes at the get ASP10, and what we can see is the, uh, the waveform. Uh, of our transmitted audio, so you'll be able to see that. Firstly, let's kick on the send button, and uh, we're going to make a few measurements or a few uh, recordings here. All right, now I'm going to uh, turn the transmitter on, and notice where the mic gain is. I'm going to put it at 12 o'clock, and we're going to look at the settings up here. Everything's at about 12 o'clock. Our main mix is at 12 o'clock. Our level is at 12 o'clock, and our gain is at plus four up there. Uh, the little gain knob. I don't know if I need any gain. <laughs> Okay, so you can see something here. Uh, the ALC is on the bottom there, and it is pegged. Uh, I'm putting out uh, 50 watts or so. I am massively overdriving my radio right now, and as you can see over on the uh, this thing, uh, you see a lot of. Uh, you can see it's it's just it's way too much for it. But even if I talk quietly, uh, it, you can see it's overdriven. Hopefully. So what are you going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to turn down the mic gain. Here down the mic gain goes. I'm on, and I'm going to yell into the microphone. Yell, 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 Whenever you go from really quiet to being really loud, being really loud, it kind of goes up a little and a little bit out of the range, but that is acceptable. And you see the power is about, uh, the maximum power is about where it was, but it's, uh, it's, it's moving a lot more vividly throughout that entire range. Here the monitor is, and you can see uh, it's not as crazy overdriven, and that's beautiful. If you want to increase your talk power, you enable a processor. Most radios will have a processor. Mine is right here. Now everything's gone. I have the processor, uh, let's put it at 12 o'clock. Everything's gone, so what happened to it? Well, we have to turn up the mic gain a little bit. Um, and make sure, watch the ALC. Okay, now we're, we're increasing our talk power because it's, it's dead set at 50 watts. Uh, it doesn't matter what I say, the, the compressor is compressing my voice so that 
uh, everything I say is about the same level. So I'll have to turn down the compressor a little bit so where I'm getting about 10 to 15 uh, dB of compression. That's about good. And I go back to the ALC and make sure that I'm within that, that uh, bar there, and that's perfect. And, and when you have the compressor on, the loudest you talk is about the farthest the ALC will go. So turn down the ALC until uh, it's just not there anymore, and uh, then you're talking business. And you can put it up, put it up here if you really want to get out, but you know, not necessary. And we can see that everything we're saying is at maximum power. So this is what processing does. It, it enables your radio to uh, increase the power of every, every part of your voice so that you get through a lot. That's, that's just about that. You turn the processor off. You have to turn the, uh, you can either turn the mic gain down or you can fiddle with the knobs. I'm going to turn the level down on the uh, mixer here until we see a similar thing. Uh, that the ALC is uh, just uh, inside its border and it's uh, hitting 50 watts at the maximum. So it's beautiful. So let's see here what it sounds like on the monitor side. I'm turning the monitor on. This is what uh, this is what it sounds like coming through the monitor. I'm gonna put the camera really close to the speaker so you can hear it very well. All right, I'm gonna turn down the uh, mic gain a little bit. Turn back up the level, like so. I'm overdriving like crazy. And now I'm going back down into the proper ALC range. I'm gonna turn a processor on. Turn back the uh, mic gain up a little bit better. And now we're going to play with EQ. I want to sound like a DXer, so what I'm going to do, turn down 80, turn up 2.5, and then we get all this uh, nasty uh, feedback there, because <laughs> it's picking up uh, a lot of frequency up there. Turn up 2.5, turn down this, and now I sound like a DXer. Uh, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, this is in zero SSC at the W0 Triple E Ham Shack, calling testing. I'm not calling anything, I am testing. All right, beautiful. So I'm going to turn that back down low. Go into rag chew mode, turn off the processor, turn down the uh, level there so that the ALC doesn't go out of the range. I can turn the monitor back up and now I'm in, I'm in rag chew mode. Uh, I'm not overdriving the transmitter too harshly or at all even. And everything sounds beautiful, especially since I'm talking to a beautiful microphone. And so that's it. Plug in the microphone, make sure the ALC's in the, in the hole there and, and you're good to go. So, so enough of this microphone just sitting here and look pretty. Let's actually use it on the air. 73 from N0 SSC.